Dear viewers, you know things are headed the wrong way when regulators have to flash warning signals to the market participants. Something similar happened in the Indian stock markets recently. The Indian stock markets, especially small cap index, has been trading at 0.6 times since it, at a significant premium to the median P of 0.43 times for some time now. You would expect most institutions dealing in retail money to exercise caution in these times. But that is hardly the case. Despite high valuations, more schemes have been launched in the small and mid cap space to make the most of the greed in this space. No wonder then MP and the market regulator had to step in. They have told asset management companies to have checks and balances to safeguard small cap investors. This includes limiting inflows, stress testing, and portfolio rebalancing. Post such warnings, the small caps witnessed volatility and correction this month. Now there are thousands of listed stocks in mid and small caps. So why are regulators worried? The reason is over 90% of these inflows find way to just a few hundred stocks. The rest remain below the radar of funds due to issues like limited liquidity to absorb huge fund inflows. You know how this situation turns out. When too much money flows into small caps with relatively low market cap and liquidity, the PE multiple expands. However, this re-rating is just driven by money inflow and not business performance. So while this could inflate the valuations of a limited set of stocks for a while, in case of any shock or negative news, the de-rating could be equally sharp and the exit in the small cap stocks could be stretched. The notional gains could turn into losses in a matter of few days. So, how could you participate in this rally without getting butchered? I believe this will require avoiding a beaten down path and taking a road less taken. Instead of following what smart investors or institutions are buying, be deliberate in looking for high potential undiscovered stocks. This way, chances are you would benefit from not just the growth in the business from a low base, but will also position yourself well to ride the re-rating gains. But this is not as easy as it sounds. There are thousands of such unknown stocks, and most of these will remain unknown throughout their life cycle. To ride a multi-bagger, you would need to combine low liquidity stocks in a business with huge opportunity and with the backing of a strong management team. Today, I want to highlight one such candidate that operates in defense, energy storage, and aerospace. With a market cap of barely rupees 5 billion, High Energy Batteries India Limited manufactures batteries which are used in defense and aerospace Autos, DRLA batteries are used extensively in power wheelchairs and mobility scooters and for power backup system. The company has the capabilities to design and manufacture batteries for mission critical platforms like torpedoes, fighter aircraft, supersonic missiles, army battle tanks, unmanned aerial vehicles, and autonomous underwater vehicles and satellite launch vehicles as well. Besides, it is pursuing opportunities and energy storage systems as well, working on areas like fuel cells where hydrogen could be used as a fuel. It claims to be the only supplier of silver zinc batteries to the Indian Navy with a market share between 65 to 70 percent. It also supplies nickel cadmium cells to the defense sector. In fact, it has produced batteries for Prithvi, Agni and for all the three variants of Brahmos. It remains a key beneficiary of Make in India scheme. Its clients include Naval Science and Technological Laboratory, Advanced System Laboratory, and Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited, along with other private players like Bharat Dynamics. The company is witnessing tailwinds with increase in defense budget, and a major chunk of it is earmarked for domestic production. In the energy segment, the cabinet has approved a national green hydrogen mission. This will have an initial outlay of Rs. 197 billion. Do note that the company is planning to foray into manufacturing fuel cell and electrolyzers in green hydrogen space. Another product is silver-based battery for getting signals underwater and for survey and oceanographic application. Besides, it is working on second life usage of lithium-ion battery. What this means is that post their use in EV, the batteries will be reusable for low power application. The management of the company has a strong technical background. Coming to financials, the debt on the balance sheet is minimal at less than 0.2 times. The return ratios are above 30%. The cash flow from operations has been consistently positive in the last five years. The five-year EBITDA margin is 30%. The stock has also seen insider buying in 2024 at a stock price level of 551 to 574 rupees. 
The market cap is at rupees 5 billion and the stock is trading at a TTM PE of 26 times. Now do not take this discussion as by view on the stock. The business has some inherent risk like over dependence on the defense sector and intensive working capital cycle. Nonetheless, it is a strong candidate and a watch list for high potential lesser known stock. Do press the like button if you found the information useful and share your feedback in the comment section. For more such unexplored opportunity, do subscribe to Equity Master YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.